I'm sure you're very curious about why we're experiencing petrol scarcity or, you know, scarcity of the products that has actually caused a lot of suffering for Nigerians. This morning, we hope to get answers. Uh, we have the PRO Ipman joining the conversation. Well, a bit of a background to it. Nigerians have continued to complain over the scarcity of premium motor spirit, popularly known as petrol in Lagos, Abuja. Akwaibom and Krosheva and other cities in Nigeria. According to the Independent National uh, Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, IPMAN, the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited has sufficient supply of products. Uh, that's petroleum products. Well, it was also explained that the reason for the scarcity of petroleum product had to do with the distribution challenges relating to dollarization and distribution challenges. Now, on Tuesday, the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited broke its silence over the current fuel scarcity being experienced in Lagos, Abuja, and other major cities in what appears to be their first official reaction to the crisis in downstream oil industry. The NNPC Limited blamed the fuel scarcity and long queues at filling station on some road projects going on in Lagos. Days ago, the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, Ibman, disclosed that the private depot owners should be blamed for the ravaging fuel scarcity. However, the Major Oil Marketers Association of Nigeria, Moment, has said that it's working with the Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NMPC Limited, to boost the distribution of petrol across the country. It was gathered that citizens now resort to buying fuel at a whooping black market price of 500 naira to 700 naira per litre because of the unending fuel unavailability, while those who buy uh, petrol or fuel from filling station have to queue overnight and for long hours just to buy at 300 naira and above. While a uh, plurator of reasons are uh, flying in as to the real costs of the situation, the scarcity is still ongoing. And this morning, to make sense of all of that, we have Ukadike Chinedum, national, uh, you know, national chairman of the PRO Ipman, joining the conversation this morning. Yeah, good morning. Well, okay. uh, good morning, Nigerians. All right, Ukadike, um, thank you for joining us. We appreciate your time. Thank you. So, NMPC Limited is saying that the reason for petrol scarcity is because of, you know, the road construction that's going on in different parts of the country, Lagos, Abuja, and what have you. And, of course, no one can deny there's a lot of construction that's going on in Lagos. But what exactly is the situation? What really is the truth? Okay, I, I also want to thank you for this uh, question. It's very, very simple. Uh, and the simple answer is that yes, there is first construction going on in Nigeria, but not all the depots as acclaimed by the NMPC. Uh, there are little road construction around the upper area. But there are other private uh, tank farm owners that are not situated only in Apapa. We have uh, PDOs in uh, private tank farms in uh, Warwick. We also have private tank farms in Botakot. We also have private tank farms in uh, Calabar. So all these places can also be used to evaporate these products if actually uh, they put up their logistics very, very well. If there is a little bit of construction in Apapa, uh, the vessels can be able to tilt towards uh, uh, the southern area of the country, where, wherever we also have uh, enough uh, depots that can be able to distribute this uh, petroleum product, even seamlessly, without we suffering uh, uh, this uh, undue scarcity. So, but I'd like to understand how this construction is affecting, uh, you know, the availability of the products. Can you please throw more light on that? Yeah, that is what I'm doing. I just, this, this, the, the financial is just what I said. Because if there are road construction in Apapa, yes, we agree. Uh, but that does not stop movement of vehicles or movement of trucks out of all some of those depots. Because we are aware that uh, there are some also uh, alternative routes where trucks can be able to uh, discharge, uh, move and discharge their products from. And if we, I agree with them uh, uh, that there is real construction in Apapa, what happens in Portacourt area? We have almost uh, uh, 40 private depots and the NPC facilities that uh, they can also be. Portacourt refinery is there. Portacourt refinery can dispense petroleum products to the rest of the country. We also have water uh, depot that can also do that. We also have uh, some of the PDOs in water private uh, depot tank farms. 
who also situated their tank farms in the uh, uh, among the uh, water areas whereby the vessel can be able to come there and drop the product. And there will be even distribution of this petroleum product. Independent marketers can be able to reach to that place and buy these products and also take it to their filling stations seamlessly uh, without these kind of excuses and suffering the masses. So what exactly then is responsible for the scarcity of these products? Because I have noticed that some petrol stations are not even open. No sign of any human activity or whatsoever. What exactly is responsible? Well, the, the, oh, oh, you have, you have in your earlier comments attributed uh, some of the problems that the uh, federal government is facing in terms of subsidizing this petroleum product, the, the high rate of dollar in Nigeria. Uh, the, uh, the federal government, I feel, uh, cannot continue to subsidize this petroleum, petroleum product because if you look at the actual cost of uh, this product uh, being imported into this country, you will find out that. Uh, uh, it's really taking a toll on the economy of the country. The economy is really no stymied. So federal government cannot continue. And that was why you see there's a little bit slack in terms of uh, 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 distribution of petroleum products. If NNPC is posting, they have sufficient period of 30 days. That is not correct. Where well, if independent marketers will continue to source for this product, to the extent I feel find out now in particular refinery depot, most of our trucks are lying down fallow. And uh, those trucks that are lying down for have spent almost two weeks, three weeks on the expense of the market as trying to see whether they can be able to see product to load. Up to now, there are no product to load. So if NNPC is saying they have sufficient period, where is the sufficient period? Why are they lost from the from distribution to the independent marketers? And the, the essence of uh, uh, NNPC uh, claiming that they have product when uh, people are suffering, when the prices are increasing, is unfounded. You understand? It's very unfounded. If we work, we have products with the independent marketers, we can go at any length to source that product and take it to our finish sessions and, and sell. So the essence of saying that they have products and there is scarcity uh, is it, it, it's, it's, it's not correct. Let me not say it's not. It's not correct. The issue of the road is not correct. I also believe evenly that there is a problem between the suppliers of this petroleum product to the federal with the federal government, because most of them are now finding it very very difficult to be able to bring in this product at the rate which the federal government want to buy. It. And federal government is finding it very very difficult because of the heavy naira pursuing few dollars to import this product because Nigeria is depending on the production of petroleum product and it's really taking a toll on our, on our economy. You will find out that this is also bringing uh, about inflation. You also find out that this is also bringing the high rate of dollar in this country because all the processes of importing petroleum products, even look at the distribution of petroleum products, are all derived. And once they are all derived, you will find out that the local uh, dollar market tracks because CBN does not give this time from owners. They go to another parallel market to go and buy their dollar. And once they buy their dollar on that parallel market, you also find out that they will build in those uh, um, uh, markup into the petroleum product and said to be the ordinary ordinary consumer. So there is this issue, there is a connection between the federal government and importers because you can also find out anytime there is transition in power. During general time, this kind of thing happens. Anytime there is transition of power, those that are importing this product are very, very careful so that they will not take their backlog or their their their, their backlog to the next administration. We might not be able to uh, understand the way these uh, uh, issues work. So they are very, very sceptical in terms of continuous supply of petroleum products. They always want the federal government to be able to pay them off thereof or something like that. So it, it, it's happening some uh, similar discussion. And I'm also likening it to what is, how, what is also happening now. So in, in Nigeria, there is, there is no total institutionalization in terms of uh, management of uh, issues. And also, I want to also let you know that since the NNPC is on bonding, and uh, since NMPC is on bond, it's very, very difficult for, for most of the, the, uh, the administrative to be able to key in into the existing administrative uh, uh, structure that, that, uh, that are coming in. So I think there is another lack of administrative cohesion that can be able to give seamless distribution of petroleum products. 
So these are some of the issues, challenges independent marketers are facing. And these are also some of the primary and remote uh, causes of um, uh, uh, lack of petroleum products. You don't talk about, you talk about pricing. When you talk about price, you also find out that the price of petroleum product is going up. You also find, you also understand that the, the PPMC and the federal government cannot be able to continue to manage this issue of subsidy. It's better they come on properly and be able to tell the members of the public that this is what we are facing and this is how we can be able to resolve this matter. So that you will be able to get your petrol at a government uh, approved price or a complete open market price. Now, if you go to your some filling station, you will see Q. Those filling stations, when you look at it, it is government owned. Like uh, NNBC is now incorporated. They are buying for uh, some private filling stations and they are selling one, 179 naira. But we, the independent marketers, we also buy from NNBC at almost at 210 naira. Then, how can we now sell? At 179 naira, so there is no competitive market. There is no open market for whereby competitions will 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 thrive. But, but so I, that is I, the I problem. To, I, the I, problem I, of distribution is our problem. Ukadike, let's establish something here. The NPC is saying that they have enough products, you know, which can actually take uh, the country for like 30 days. And yet we're experiencing scarcity. I don't know at what point that this product is available. Is it before noun or noun? Um, so, but if that's the case, why is there scarcity? That's on the one hand. Secondly, you, you've talked about the fact that uh, the marketers have to source for the product. And that's because the NNPC cannot buy at a certain rate. The cost of importation is under high, especially when you look at the exchange rate, the naira to the dollar, we're paying in dollars, and so uh, it, it, it'll probably be on the high. So I, I'd like you to throw more light on it. Is it that the NMPC is unwilling to pay at a certain rate? Uh, what exactly is it with the situation? And why yeah. are you now sourcing for the product yourself? Where are you buying from? Are you buying directly from these suppliers or are you getting it from the NNPC. Okay, if you look at uh, the release by NDPR uh, last week uh, of uh, product quantity they have uh, for the country, you will find out that there are a quantity that are, that are made for NNPC retails. There are quantity, good storage and uh, uh, in capacity too. There are also quantities made for moment. You understand me? Uh, they have. They also uh, uh, quantity made for that man. But you will find out that there's no quantity made for independent marketers. And if independent marketers control 90% of the distribution process, distribution chain in this country. And there is nowhere independent marketer is not located. At the looks and cranny of this country, you can find out independent marketers and they are everywhere. So if you are having products allocated to more man, you have product allocated to that man, and you don't have product allocated to the Ip man, so that Ip man can be able to assess their product and be able to distribute it. It is a very serious snack in terms of this distribution chain. It means that members of independent marketers, numbering over 10,000 uh, filling stations, will wait and queue in that man uh, depots and queue in moment depots and also queue in NPC uh, depots to be able to get their product. That is one particular thing I also want you to understand. But the NNPC, who is the sole importer and sole distributor, and now the sole retailer of uh, petroleum products, does not deprioritize this chain. If you want to talk about something, you talk about the privatization of the market. You don't monopolize the market. You open up the market, you open up importation, you open up distribution, you open up storage. So if at uh, NNPC saying that they have social quality of product reserved for moment, social quality of product reserved for that moment, where is the one reserved for independent marketers? Who you know that are in everywhere in this country? And you will find out that there is no, there is no uh, uh, queue in independent marketers' finish stations. Because we go to Darkman, we go to Moman to sell this product at a higher rate. And when we buy it, we take it to our own filling station and put small mega amount of money or interest to be able to sell it. And that is where you see the product is going for 200, 210, 230. And if you find out in your locality where this product is sold at this amount of money, 
you will, you will know that there is no queue. Where you will see queue is any PC filling stations where they are selling one forty nine dollar per liter. So, in other words, uh, what we're currently faced with is a distribution issue. NMPC is yes. not distributing it's to a, everyone. It's, it's, a, it's a pure distribution issue because NMPC has abandoned their proper distribution channels. We have 21 depots owned by NMPC. Those 21 depots is what is, is vastly spread in this country. Those 21 depots can sufficiently distribute petroleum products through the pipeline. What we, are, what we are looking at, the president should come out and declare a sort of emergency on all these pipelines. And how did the the people, like the way they did in the in, in Niger Delta, the way they did in the offshore uh, 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 pipelines, how did they to a, a consign or a, a consultant that can be able to manage this pipeline and ensure that products from PPMC depots can be able to move to various depots and those depots can take their products? You will not see every uh, cloud, people clouding in Apapa. Why are people clouding in Apapa? Because the man from Guzo is going to Apapa to go and fetch his product. The man from Gore, the man from Sokoto, the man from uh, Damatu, the man from Afiko. They all everybody is now heading to Apapa, where we have uh, private tank farms, where NPC uses to distribute them. Right. That's the backlog. It's giving toes on our, our road. It's causing a lot of accidents. So, 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 so who are they? Who, so, so if you say the NPC, I mean, we, we, we need to uh, begin to call it a wrap then. If you say the NMPC has ab abandoned her distribution channels, you're saying 21 depots, and they're not distributing to them. So who exactly are they distributing to? Are they also part of the you know, uh, distribution channel? Are they part of the chain of command? All those depots have been lying for, for the past four years, five years now. All those depots have been lying for the NMPC is not using it because of uh, flimsy excuses of uh, pipeline vandalization. We have to put it in this country. We have to make this call. Somebody must take responsibility for his actions and inactions at any particular point in time. We don't just say because something has you abandoned for multi billion naira investment government has used to ease this kind of stress. So that is the, 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 the problem we are facing. If an NPC finishes depots um, in Aba, Makode, uh, Yola, all these places, Sudeja, they are all working. We won't talk about that, but that will be less free and stress free. It is only within Lagos, um, satellite depots and all the rest of them can be able to go to Ugo states, can be able to come to Lagos to, to, to pick their product. The country is divided in a way by the NMPC TTZs to be able to distribute petroleum product within your own locality. So, so, so who are they distributing to now? Let's, let's get that out of the yeah. way. Now, what they are doing now is that they are using private tank farms to distribute it because most of these private tank farms are located along the waterways. And those waterways is where they can be able to use their vessel. Because I want to let you know that we are importing petroleum products. We are depending on importing petroleum products outside this country. And this petroleum product came through the vessels. And that is why you see the private tank farm owners building their tank farms along the uh, uh, waterways so that they can be able to use their uh, vessels and put the product in their in their tank farms and now distribute. And the NMPC uh, have opined that this is the best way of distributing petroleum products so that they cannot be able to incur losses. Because whenever they come from through the pipelines, they incur losses. So they don't want to incur losses anymore All right. by so, vandalization. Well, that, that, that's so that is the problem we are facing. Okay. So in other words, if they go back to distributing via the normal channel, we might not be facing uh, petrol scarcity. That's what you're saying? Yeah, we, might, we will not at all. We will not. And you will receive, you will get this product as a very cheap price because pipeline uh, distribution of petroleum product is the fastest and the best way and the risk-free. You understand me? That's the best way to, to, to distribute the petroleum product, petroleum product because petroleum product can be distributed from we have to go. Kodaka refinery, even up to Yola, through the pipeline. Right. That is the way it's designed. So okay. we need to recover the pipelines. Hmm. Thank you so much. I mean, that's very uh, insightful thoughts that you have shared with us this morning. Uka DK uh, we appreciate your time. Yes, thank you. And I, I also saw want to add that independent marketers does not have any business in, that, in database going to refinery or going to any depot to go and detect that and know. What we wanted is product. Once the products are available in any, in any facility, government facility, 
or any license facility by DPR, we are ready to go and buy it there at government rate and sell in our filling stations. We don't have any business. I heard somebody was saying that uh, they want to go and take that kind of... No, no, no. That is not the conscience of independent marketers. We don't have any business going to any, any depot to go and stand and use police to pack uh, data. No, we don't. We don't have any business at all. Well, our business is to buy products and sell it on filling stations. Thank you so much. Uh, we have to go. We look forward to sharing your thoughts uh, as we proceed. We hope that, you know, uh, petrol and its availability will become a thing of reality for Nigerians. But that's it uh, this morning. Uka DK Chinadum is a national PRO officer. Of course, uh, Ibman, thank you so much for being part of the show. Well, that's the much we can take at this point in time. We take a break and when we return, we'll be looking at ASU and the recent developments. Stay with us.